You can't have Cuphead without a casino, unless you're the Cuphead Show. Oof. Cuphead was never really about the story, but there are still a few elements we can't deny about it. The brothers grew up in a magical place called Inkwell Isle. They wander far from home and end up at the Devil's Casino. They come across wacky minions and then meet the devil himself. Win one more roll, and all the loot in my casino is yours! So our heroes make a few bets here and there, go on an adventure of souls, and the rest is history. But here's the thing, what you expect to happen during the new Netflix cartoon might not actually happen. During the trailer, one clue reveals itself in the first few seconds. We see this nice shot of Inkwell Isle, which includes places from everywhere in the game. The observatory, Elder Kettle's house, the carnival, the city, yeah, there's a lot. You would expect an entrance to the Devil's Casino somewhere around here, but I don't see anything. We also have to realize that throughout the trailer, there's really not much of a casino either. We get a glimpse at the Devil's Carnival, Carn Evil, which I guess he owns. Based on the information we have, it looks like we either won't be getting the casino, or it'll just have a much smaller role. You might be confused, but there's a good reason. You know how when Cuphead came out in 2017, it was actually not for the youngins. The game was rated everyone 10 and up. Elements of gambling are everywhere. And you also have the boys just casually going to Inkwell Hell. Yeah, for kids, sure. Fast forward a few years later, and we finally have the Cuphead show, which isn't aiming for just an adult audience. It's a show for everyone. Cuphead's co-creator Chad Moldenhauer talked about this back in 2019. The game has some more mature elements like smoking and gambling. Is this new show aimed at a younger audience or an older one? While the Cuphead show will definitely be approachable to a younger audience, it's being crafted with broad appeal in mind. We feel like it's something that kids will love, but we'll keep parents and those who have played Cuphead engaged with the inspiration it takes from the cartoon classics of the 1930s and humor that plays on multiple levels. Now the other reason we won't be getting much of the Devil's Casino is because no matter what, the story of the show isn't following the game. These these are the same characters and world everyone fell in love with, but the crew is taking a unique approach. The creators have mentioned that the Cuphead show is ultimately telling its own distinct story. So there you have it. Instead of the casino, we're getting new stories and ideas. Honestly, I'm okay with it. Seeing the franchise in a new way is not a bad thing. Everything we've gotten from the show is extremely faithful to not only the game, but the golden era of animation it's based on. Who cares about the story changes? Just give me some of that classic Cuphead. I've had goodness, and I'm sold. I'll get that cup. Head? Oh, shut up! But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.